an equation of circle O is x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 8y equal to negative 16. The statement that best describes circle O is, so we're looking for uh, the center of the circle, and we're also looking for uh, which axes the circle is going to be tangent to. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so let's first try to rewrite this equation uh, so that we can um, better identify where the center is as well as what the radius is going to be. So we're going to try to rewrite this into uh, this form here, x minus h squared plus x y minus k squared is equal to r squared, where h and k is going to be the center of the circle. So to do something like this, we're going to separate out the variables. We're going to group together all the terms that have x that involves x, so x squared plus 4x. And we're going to leave ourselves a little bit of space. We're going to add something to this in a moment, plus something, and then plus y squared minus 8y and plus something else we're going to add something to this in a moment equal to negative 16. and what we're going to try to do is if you notice these things over here right this is a perfect square as well as this this is a perfect square right the square of that uh, binomial it's a perfect square so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to complete the square here. So what are we going to add? I'm going to use a different color. So what are we going to add here to cause this to be a perfect square? So to complete the square of a trinomial, what we need to do is we need to take this middle coefficient, half it, and square it. If this sounds really, really uh, strange to you, I encourage you to look up the uh, lesson which pertains to uh, which pertains to why or or um, the reasoning to why we half that middle coefficient and, and then we square it. So anyway, we half, half the middle coefficient, square it, and that will give us 4. Because 4 divided by 2 is 2, and when we square that, it's 4. We're going to do the same thing with the middle coefficient involving uh, the y variables. We're going to half it, so, negative eight divide, so 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16, so we're going to add 16 over here. All right, so what we're going to do, what we add to one side of the equation, we also got to add it to the other side of the equation. So if you notice, I've added how many, um, how many numbers on the, on the left side of that equal symbol. I've added 20, right? So I got to also add 20 on the right. All right, so now that I have this, the two pairs of trinomials the one involving x, that will transform or factor into x plus 2 squared. And the trinomial involving y's will factor into y minus 4 squared equal to 4. So now I can identify what the center is. The center is negative 2 comma 4. And the radius is equal to 2 because r squared is equal to 4. So the question uh, is not asking us to identify both the center and radius, but it's asking for us to identify the center and which axes the circle is going to be tangent to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just sketch this out. So negative 2, 4. I want to roughly draw it over here like so. This is negative 2, comma, 4. And the radius is 2, which means the circle is going to touch the y-axis here. It's not going to reach the x-axis because the distance negative 2, 4 is away from the x-axis is 4 units away. So the circle is going to go around like that. The lowest point over here is going to be negative 2, comma, 2. Right? And the point over here is going to be 0, 4. This is a distance of 2. Okay? So it's going to be tangent to the y-axis. So which option is that? So that would be option 4.